Uh, great tweet by Talking Underscore Monkeys. <laughs> he says, well, Nancy Pelosi blocked. This is where we're at. This is where we're at with your Democratic Party, who you have supposed to vote for because Trump. Okay? While Nancy Pelosi blocks the emergency UBI and Dementia Joe stands against Medicare for all in the middle of a pandemic. Trump suspends foreclosures and evictions and wants to send direct cash payments to desperate Americans. Republican Senator Mitt Romney is proposing to give every adult American $1,000 plus other relief to help people deal with the financial impact of the coronavirus outbreak. Trump is going to be the most progressive candidate on the ballot. We are living in a simulation. Here's what I tweeted out. I retweeted him and I said, Pelosi won't send direct payments during your foreclosure because Pelosi's getting direct payments from those foreclosing on you. So while both parties are making headway with this universal basic income type of uh, plan during this crisis. What I'm proposing is an immediate emergency temporary universal basic payment that goes directly to every single American in this time of crisis, given how broad the impact will be. Most Americans don't have that safety emergency bank account. And so really looking at universal basic payment, an emergency direct aid to every single American. Now is the time for action to provide direct assistance through a universal basic payment of $1,000 a month. The federal government should be sending $1,000 checks to everybody. There's been talk about $1,000 checks to every American. AOC has now come out to support universal basic income. Senator Mitt Romney proposing a $1,000 payment to every adult American. Uh, and that's going to help support demand and help millions of American families actually weather this crisis. It shouldn't be surprising, frankly, that we've seen Republican lawmakers, Democratic lawmakers get on board with it now. It's been good to see over the last few days that there are Democrats and Republicans to include today President Trump and Mnuchin. We're looking at sending checks to Americans immediately. I think we're going to do something that gets money to them as quickly as possible. We have all started speaking out in support of this direct cash payment to every American. Now is not the time for politics. Now is the time for leaders to step up, stand together. We are all in this together and to put the health and well-being of the American people above all else. Uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi is holding everyone back. I'm going to talk about Nancy Pelosi blocking, <laughs> blocking a UBI, common dreams. Refusal by Pelosi to consider universal cash payments in response to coronavirus pandemic maddening says progressives. Progressives erupted with frustration and anger Wednesday over days of reporting that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi would, would not consider cash payments for Americans without means testing, despite the ongoing coronavirus outbreak that, is, that has ground the U.S. economy almost to a standstill. President Donald Trump and his fellow Republicans have taken the opportunity to outflank Pelosi and House Democrats on the payments leading to anger from the left. Uh, and quotes, it says, I truly don't know how to describe how maddening it is that Republicans and Trump officials are to the left of congressional Dem leadership on this issue. If Trump is so bad, why are the Democrats worse? Republican Senator Mitt Romney is proposing to give every adult American $1,000. President Donald Trump has said he supports the bill. But some GOP senators think it's not good enough, especially when it comes to helping small businesses. So let's check in on the Democratic senators. Well, former presidential contender and leading contender for running mate to Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, tweeted that she wants to give $500 a month to working families. Yes, you heard that right. And as left economics want, Matt Brunig points out, quote, Kamala's $500 a month proposal is for a married couple. For a single person, it's $250. It's not half of what Republicans are proposing. It's one-fourth of what they are proposing, and it excludes the poor. Sometimes it takes a racist, sexist, xenophobe to out-progressive the Democratic Party. So that, that, those are Trump solutions. Trump <laughs> solutions right now, currently, is we take ownership in the corporations we help bail out. We provide everybody with direct cash payments. 
a UBI. We put a, a moratorium on foreclosures and evictions. Imagine if Barack Obama did those things. Imagine if he did those things, which is what people were want, begging him to do. And you know what he did? He did nothing. He did nothing. He, he bailed out the banks, made them keep their bonuses, and then kicked the people out of their houses and then gave those houses to the banks he just bailed out so they could sell them again. And then you wonder why we got Trump. It really wasn't Jill Stein's fault. Or maybe it was Susan Sarandon. Or maybe it was my fault. I'm pretty powerful too. I also have no money and no power. <laughs> so powerful. So here's Nancy Pelosi. Here's, what, here's her big announcement. This is from today. Congressional Democrats are united in our commitment. Shut up with your unity bullshit. Shut up. Even in the middle of this, she's got to be 100% political, 100% partisan. While Trump is out lefting you and actually address crisis, you're still doing this. Anyway, congressional Democrats are united in our commitment to using all tools available ex except socialism to fight the corona coronavirus outbreak like the health crisis it is and make sure workers are protected from a loss of a paycheck. You're not doing that. She would only, by the way, they own, they pat, their big bill gave 20%. Mm -hmm. They're not doing, they're not. Mm. Any economic stimulus proposal must include new, strong, and strict provisions that prioritize or protect workers, such as banning the recipient companies from buying back stocks, rewarding executives, and laying off workers. How about a solution, Nancy? Because your solution is a means-tested UBI. She's the one standing in, in the way of direct cash payments to Americans right now. And this is the kind of pablum she tweets out. Bunch of platitudes. We must protect workers and strengthen things and make health better. What's on your radar? Well, the ongoing congressional fight of what exactly to do for working people most affected by the coronavirus has revealed just how much Democrats have become the party of corporations, the rich and the suburbs, while the American right is worming its way out of its corporate shell to become the party of the American working class and of families. You saw this truly burst onto the stage Tuesday afternoon when Senator Mitt Romney endorsed the idea of giving $1,000 immediately to every single American. Tom Cotton jumped on board, saying that the current legislation passed by the House of Representatives fell short of getting cash into American families' hands as quickly as they need it. Senator Josh Hawley, he went even further, saying that every single parent in this country should receive the monthly equivalent of the IRS average expenditure by family until this economic crisis is over. But let's not even stop there. Things got even more extraordinary. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, whose background and past work on the GOP tax bill has troubled me deeply, somehow made an about face from the White House podium and had this to say. Although the president likes the idea of the payroll tax holiday, I will tell you what we've heard from many people, and the president has said we can consider this. The payroll tax holiday would get people money over the next six to eight months. We're looking at sending checks to Americans immediately. And what we've heard from hardworking Americans, many companies have now shut down, whether it's bars or restaurants. Americans need cash now, and the president wants to get cash now. And I mean now in the next two weeks. How much? Uh, I will be previewing that with the Republicans. There's some numbers out there. They may be a little bit bigger than what's in the press. That's right, folks. The Trump White House and GOP senators are currently working harder to get money in the hands of working people in this country than corporate-dominated Democratic leadership and their own Democratic colleagues. Nancy Pelosi's contribution to the discourse, discourse so far is wrangling support for a fake paid sick leave bill, which exempts corporations with over 500 employees, a.k.a. the companies most people work for, are not liable for paying sick leaves to their employees under this legislation. As for Joe Biden, I went to his website. All he's been talking about is paid sick leave. We're way beyond doing anything about that right now. 
A new NPR Marist poll says that 20% of American households have already experienced reduced hours or have been laid off from their jobs. For those who have been laid off, all the paid sick leave and payroll tax in the world, ta payroll tax cut in the world, is not going to do anything for you. What I'm proposing is an immediate emergency temporary universal basic payment that goes directly to every single American in this time of crisis. The magnitude of the crisis that we are in right now is stark. Yesterday, Bloomberg News reported that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin told senators that if aggressive action is not taken, that the unemployment rate in this country could hit 20%. And to put it into context, we have not seen an unemployment rate like that since the 1920s and 30s during the Great Depression, when in 1933, at its worst, the unemployment rate was at 24.6%. The actions that are required of us right now are so many orders of magnitude higher than what Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or Nancy Pelosi is even considering. The only people in the political discourse right now who are actually trying to use this moment to try to save America's working class as a result of this crisis are the presidential candidate, Bernie Sanders, and a bunch of GOP senators. How about direct cash payments? Nope. You know why? Because the Democratic Party, as Chris Hedges says, is a zombie party. They're so calcified, even in the middle of a crisis, an unbelievable existential threat that is actually happening. They're unable to move left or right. They're unable to do anything to address this. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are unable to come up with a solution big as, as big as our problem. I like Michael Sonato says, the push for means-tested benefits is unbelievable. State unemployment benefits websites aren't working. They don't make up for lost wages. A lot of people from freelancers to small business owners don't qualify for unemployment, and people are getting hurt in more ways than just layoffs. Here's Chuck Schumer's big idea. Here's what we're proposing. This is what he says. If you're a small business owner suddenly facing cash flow problems, we would allow you to apply for a low interest loan and other forms of financial assistance that you can offer. Is that what they did to the banks? <laughs> or did they just give the banks free in money? Low interest loan. Here's what Chris Hayes says. Hey, how about zero interest loans? 